let's see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Man, there is no food in here. Yeah, nothing in here either. Man. Man, there is nothing in here either. How can we have no food in this house? Unbelievable. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How is everyone doing today? Well, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I got no food in this house. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna talk new Warner Archives pickups and make some chili. Now more specifically, we're gonna make Cincinnati chili. And I'm gonna make Cincinnati chili. I decided to do it for four reasons. One, it is butt ass cold outside. Two, there's no food in the house. Three, I've only had Cincinnati chili once before, thought it was quite good, and I've always wanted to make it myself. So let's give it a shot. And four, because it's butt ass cold outside. So now, full disclaimer, I'm not making a true authentic Cincinnati chili. Um, for one, it takes hours and hours and hours. That's every recipe I saw, it took forever. And I just don't care enough to do that. So what we're doing is more of a knockoff recipe. Um, so if there's anybody from Cincinnati who watches this, please don't tear me apart in the comments. You've been warned. This is not a true Cincinnati chili. Also, traditionally, Cincinnati chili is usually served on top of uh, noodles stacked with a bunch of different stuff, usually like cheese and onions and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to put it on noodles. I'm probably not going to add the onions to it. I'm probably just going to eat it straight up with some cornbread. This is going to be a very unconventional way of doing it. Even the way that uh, the recipe says to make it seems like it's a little unconventional, but people seem to like it and I, it got a lot of good reviews. So I figured let's give it a shot. So let's make some chili guys. But before we can make the chili, I do actually have to run, wander out into the winter wonderland because there's a few things i got to do one i recently sold some movies so we got to swing by the post office to drop those off to get them out to the people who purchased them and two i have for the most part everything i need but there's a few things that i still need for the chili that i do not have in the house for the most part i have everything but i just got to pick up a couple of things i have to maybe swing by calls i haven't decided yet and so we're going to run out, we're going to do the post office stuff, and then we're going to head to Kohl's, possibly, and then into Target, and we'll get everything we need for the chili. And I'm sure we'll probably check out the physical media while we're there. I mean, you have to, right? All right, guys, let's get going. Okay, well, the post office didn't work out quite like I was hoping. Apparently, due to uh, staff shortages, they're not open till 2.15. So that's okay, though. It's about 1.30 right now. So let's head to Target. I'll get all the stuff I need, and I'll swing by on the way back home. I got to go right past here anyway, so no big deal. Guys, we're over in the physical media. So, you got the Ghostbusters 4K $27.99 came out this week. Got this three pack with no slip cover, front sale for $32.99. Has all the movies. You got Clifford the Big Red Dog $22.99 Blu ray, $17.99 DVD. And you got Ghostbusters Afterlife $22.99 on Blu ray, $17.99 DVD. Got their little Romance section, Valentine's Day. All right, guys, we just got to Target. Sorry about the uh, shortage of physical media over there. There was actually a lot of people over in the area. I was kind of crowded, and their little security guard they got working there was just eyeballing me. I don't, I don't think they liked the fact that I was filming in there. So there really wasn't much to show. The new releases that I showed is about the only thing they had over there. Neca's same stuff I've shown before. They don't have anything different. And I actually have to go to another grocery store because Target failed big time. They had like three of the like seven items I needed. I mean, 
I they didn't have they didn't have any juice like a standard uh, tomato juice. They had none. I needed kidney beans. They had none. I needed um, a couple other things like milk, and they only I mean all they had were like gallons, and I was just like not buying a whole gallon of milk. You know, I'm not gonna go through that. So I was just looking for a little one. They didn't have that. So I gotta go to another store. Uh, I'm going to swing in there, go drop off that stuff, then we'll get back home and make that chili. All right. All right, guys. Success at the post office and success at the other grocery store. Let's go make some chili. Add two pounds of ground chuck. Chop up the roast beef nice and fine. Add one quart... and one cup of tomato juice. Add one whole onion, peeled, but not cut up. Add one whole can of kidney beans. I lightly drain them, but you probably don't have to. Add four tablespoons of chili powder, or a little more or a little less, depending on what you like. One tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground cumin. I add just slightly more because I like cumin. One teaspoon of allspice. Mine was just a little bit shy because I couldn't find allspice anywhere in any of the two stores I went to. So mine's a little bit short. Hopefully it doesn't affect it too much. One teaspoon of milled black pepper. I could not find milled black pepper, so I am just using coarse black pepper. I don't really know what the difference is, but hopefully it, it'll work out fine. One teaspoon of red pepper. I'm just using crushed red pepper. One teaspoon of white sugar. One eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And you also do two large dashes of Worcestershire. I forgot to film that. And that's it for the ingredients. Then kind of mix everything up and uh, cook for two hours on medium low heat. I'm just going to do it on like 3.5 and you cook, it, yeah, you cook it for two hours and you, uh, you stir it every 20 minutes. All right, guys, just a quick FYI. I did change the uh, temperature on the stove from 3.5 down to 3. Just seemed like it was cooking just a little bit too quickly. I mean, you're probably still fine with the 3.5. Um, probably either way is probably fine. You're cooking for two hours. It's going to get done whether you're doing a uh, 3 or 3.5. I just personally decided to lower it. I just thought I'd throw it in. Depends on how closely you want to follow uh, this recipe. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there. All right, guys, let's make some cornbread. All right, guys, we're going to make some cornbread. Uh, we're just using the package stuff, the famous Dave cornbread mix because it's delicious it's uh very simple to do you just preheat your oven to 400 degrees which i have already done you take your eight by eight by two pan bam right here take a little cooking spray give it a little squirt get all sides bam Go like that then you just take one of the packets from inside, pour into your bowl, add one egg, add one third cup water, add one third cup milk, and mix. Now it does specifically say to mix, but do not over mix. So I basically just do it up till it's, you know, looking like it's, you know, nice and fully mixed, but not like crazy. I'm not really sure what the reasoning is for behind that, but I just figured I might as well follow the package. I just use a fork to do it and then grab like a spatula, get the sides and top it off at the end. And this, these cornbread, this cornbread is really, really good guys. It's really good. I don't know if 
Um, whoever's watching, I don't know. I don't know if any famous Dave's are actually still around. I know there used to be a lot more around my area. There's a lot less now. But their cornbread is definitely delicious. Pour into your greased pan. And you put it in the oven, you cook for, so you have an eight by eight by two, 23 to 26 minutes. And that's it. All right, guys, it's now a couple hours later and the chili is done. And this is pretty much what it looks like. And the only real final thing you gotta do is remove those five bay leaves and remove this big old onion, which you can probably cut up and add to your stuff if you wanted to. All right, guys, it's time to give it a uh, give it a taste test. And of course you gotta use some Frito scoops for that. All right, guys, let's try this here. I'm very excited, it looks super good. Just take your little scoop. Oh. That is good. That's quite good. It's definitely different than normal chili. I can see why people wouldn't like it. I think it's very good. But I yeah, it's definitely do it definitely taste that cinnamon. I could see why people wouldn't like it. It is it does taste far different, I think, than like a standard regular chili. It's got more of a kick. It just definitely you can taste that. That all spice in there, you can taste that cinnamon, definitely the cinnamon. But I think it's quite good. Perfect timing. Ah, a new Warner Archives showed up. All right, guys, let's eat. All right, guys, there you go. That's the final product. Huh, I might have taken more than I can actually eat, to be honest with you. That's quite a bit in there. But we'll see. If not, I can always just save it. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the final product. It is quite good. Like I said, you can definitely taste the cinnamon for sure. Pretty good recipe, though. I'd make this again. All right, enough about food, guys. Let's talk more to Archives Pickups. All right, guys. Well, this package just showed up a little bit ago. This lovely package from Amazon. Uh, within this is my Warner Archives. Now, this is a completely new uh, label for me. I've never got any Warner Archives. I've gotten multiple Warner Brothers, but not the actual line Warner Archives. And um, there's a lot of movies on there that, that I really like or that... I remember liking or that I wanted to see so I decided you know what I'm gonna uh I'm gonna delve into that and I'm gonna pick up a few so let's go in here let's see what I got and uh we're gonna go through them Thanks. all right I think this is all of them here Let's get them in order. Okay. All right. So I got seven. Seven Warner Archives. Uh, most of these are blind buy. Some of them I've seen, but honestly, the ones that I've seen, I don't remember anything about. So the first one up we have is The Hidden, which apparently is a alien movie. Like an, I don't know if it's like an alien abduction movie, but it's just an alien movie. I've heard multiple different people talk about this one. And everybody says it's really good. So I'm definitely excited to check it out. I'm going to try to go through these pretty quick. This video is probably getting pretty long. And then next up, we got a movie with Humphrey Bogart, Edward G. Robinson, and Lauren Bacall. And it is Key Largo. I remember seeing this a long time ago. I was... I should go over here. I remember seeing this a long time ago. I was a big, big fan of it really don't remember anything about it i'm very excited to uh delve back into this one uh next up we have a movie that i think i saw when i was a kid but i don't remember anything about it and i love the artwork on it too but it's uh it's michael keaton and henry winkler in night shift 
Um, and I think this movie's actually about that. I think they work at a morgue and they turn a morgue into like like a prostitution ring or like a horror house. It's like a sex comedy. I look forward to rewatching that one. Next up, we have uh, Gene Hackman in Night Moves. The only thing I really know about this one is that he plays a private investigator, and I think I remember seeing this a long time ago. I don't really, uh, I don't really remember it, but um, that's the joy of getting these. If you don't really remember them, it's like watching them for the first time again. So yeah, Night Moves, the next one I got. Next up is a movie that, uh, another Humphrey Bogart movie. I remember seeing this, I think, on, like, a VHS tape. I believe somebody, like, were, like rented it from the video store and uh, somehow set up a system with two VCRs and dubbed it onto a blank tape. That's the first time I saw this one and, I think, Key Largo. And I remember watching this movie. I don't remember much about it now, but I remember watching it going, man, at the end, like, that movie was really, really good. So I had to pick it up on Warner Archive. And that is uh, The Big Sleep. Yeah, I definitely look forward to this one. Is this Lauren Bacall too? Yeah, Bogart and Bacall. Yep. So I, uh, I'm i definitely looking forward to checking this one out again too. Next up, and I love the artwork on this one as well. And this is a movie that I've, I remember I've been wanting to pick up forever. I was going to pick it up back even on like VHS and then DVD and then now it's on Blu-ray. And honestly, I can't remember if I've actually seen it. It's a it's a thriller. But I remember I was always very intrigued. Oh, I see there's two versions of the movie too, which is cool. But I was always very intrigued by the um by the artwork on this. And I believe this also was I don't know if I ever got around to watching it, but I believe this movie was also on that same VHS tape with The Big Sleep and Key Largo. And I think it also had this movie, which is Gaslight, which I heard is a thriller. I'm not sure what year it came out. I believe it's like 1940-something, maybe. 1943, 44. Oh, yeah, okay, 1944 version, 1940 version. So they're four years apart. One's 84 minutes, one's 114 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember much about this, if I've even seen it at all. So definitely looking forward to delving into that one. And the last one I got is one that I've wanted to see for a long, long time. and never got around to it. I've heard such wonderful things about it. Um, it has Spencer Tracy, and Ro Spencer Tracy and Robert Ryan. I've always been a huge Spencer, Spencer Tracy fan. Ever since I saw him in, in uh, Inherit the Wind, I've always, always enjoyed his stuff. But I, this is one I have never seen. And um, I decided to pick this up. And this one I actually got the other day. The rest of these I just got today. Um, but that's uh, Bad Day at Black Rock. Yeah, I love that artwork too. I think it's super cool. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to delving into these. I just think they look cool. This little Warner archive up here, top, I think just looks super cool. I just like the way that looks. And another thing I really like about these releases too is I love the side fonts. Sometimes a lot of the stuff comes out and it has like kind of the same font. This has all the fonts from like the actual movies like their actual let's see if i can do this without it uh it's kind of hard to tell to do it without the, getting the uh screen in the way but all the fonts are very cool um they're all the the fonts from the movie they're not just all standard they all look different so i mean you get all those and you put them up on your shelf they just look great too so i am very excited to delve into uh what do I got? Seven. These seven Warner Archives releases. Like I said, I've never had a Warner Archive release. This is a, a new uh, new genre for me. Or not a new genre, but a new uh, um, label for me. So I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to delving into the Warner Archives. And I do know, I don't know if they still do it, but I knew they used to have a 4 for 44 sale. I don't know if that's still going on, but if it is, when well, next time they have it, I'll probably hit up some more too. So, yeah. I just thought... I would do this little video and uh, highlight those new movies I got in. Um, and let me know in the comments, do you like this kind of half, like, 
you know, a little cooking thing along with video type stuff. I was just trying something new. I don't know if it's something that I'll ever do again. I don't know if it's something that I'll maybe just do once a month or whatever. I guess we'll just see what people think. I just thought it was kind of fun. My mom actually gave me this idea a while back. She's like, you should do some sort of cooking thing along with your physical media. So I was basically just giving it a shot. And, um... Yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this whole like half cooking, half uh, physical media Warner Archive type video, give it a big thumbs up. Let's me know you guys like what I'm doing. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.